Well, I describe Morgan Heritage in three words as roots, reggae, rockers. That is the description of Morgan Heritage music. Highly, 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 hail him high. Hail him high. You have now entered the root zone. Rockers. Everyone, welcome to the root zone. Yes. Covering reggae music to Morgan Heritage means everything. You know, reggae music is life music. You know, and. It's a fun, it, with reggae music, you get a chance to hear about everything that life has to offer. From a cultural side, from a spiritual side, from a religious side if, if you needs be. Um, just on a survival level, you know, with reggae music it's like news. You talk about everything, you know, everything and anything, you know, as li and everything in life relates. So reggae music to I and I, it's everything. We came up watching the greats like James Brown, um, people like uh, Jackie Wilson, and you know Prince, and Michael Jackson, and being able to bring that that we were exposed to, that type of you know intensity and tenacity in the music, you know, it means a lot for us as reggae artists. We automatically become role models, and the fairness of it, um, it's, it's like how God gives you something, and you you don't want it, but you gotta take it type thing. That's how I look at the the essence of being a role model. It's not something that you ask for, but it, it's automatically given to you based on what you do. And we're entertainers. Who to be conscious? Then we try everything. Everything, yeah. Just to hold you down. Just to hold you down. Down, 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 down. down. So yeah. Rockers. We are warriors. The system can't hold us down. We are warriors. Chop out the chains, we're free to move around. We are warriors. We have a plan to the games they play. So we do it. Morgan Heritage. Perfectionist. They're, perf they're perfectionists. Most amazing sound. And they're, they're a family. And that speaks love. You know what I mean? When you speak about love, you think, when you speak about family, you speak about love. And you can't get nothing better than that. It's, it's a wonderful feeling, you know, to know that, that we, are, we, are, we are representing reggae, you know, right now. In Jamaica as one of the, the flagship, you know, reggae artists. Reggae music is not just like any other music. Reggae music is, is a music that brings a great message across. It's good news, it's a gospel. It's a musical gospel. It's not just like any other genre of music. Not saying that the other genres of music are not great music, but I'm saying our, our music comes from the heartbeat. To keep ourselves relevant, number one, with the roots music. And no matter how far anything elevate, no matter how tall a tree grows, it's always roots. Without the roots, it's not going to stay alive. You know what I mean? So to keep ourselves relevant now, we just make sure that we always incorporate whatever today's generation is listening to in our music. We incorporate the modern sound in I and I Roots music because we don't want to, you know, jeopardize the integrity of the music, which is the roots, but at the same time we want to be relevant to the, the ongoing generation and the next generation to come. We always think about the audience in producing the track, you know, because performing on stage, you know, you see what the audience like and, you know, you first have to enjoy what you do and then everyone else will help to enjoy it with you. Because Jamaica is a laid-back environment. Reggae music is an easy-going music. So that intensity that we bring to the music, it means a lot to us because it separates us from everyone else out there playing reggae music. Collaborations on this upcoming album, yes, there's quite a few of them on there. There is um, J-Boog out of Hawaii, Compton, California. Our nephew, Jamiri. Um, Joe Mercer, Stephen Molly's son, Eric from Revolution, the lead singer, um, Chronix. So this album has a quite a few collaborations. Being in the industry for so long, a lot has changed digitally for Morgan Heritage. You know, coming from being born into an era where it was all about LPs, 12 inches, 45s, uh, then moving on to eight tracks, cassette tapes, CDs. They tried mini disc for a while, and now it's just straight up digital. There is no physical format of the music. It it inspires you and forces you to go out there and connect with your audience in non-traditional ways. And we actually like it. You know, it's it's renewing, it's refreshing, and you know, it's also um, 
sometimes inspiring when you share a moment with your fans on a personal level. So we love it and we embrace it, we endorse it. So we always incorporate what's happening today in the music. And with doing that, you create a hybrid song which is new to them who are listening to today's music. Because some of them today don't even know the roots. So when you bring the roots in a way them have today, it's something new to them. You know, so you're even more relevant than you're trying to be. You know what I mean? There's nothing more relevant than the root. The root is life. The feeling that we would like to translate through our music is the feeling of love, feeling of unity, feeling of strength. We like to translate roots. We want to translate rockers and reggae music. And Morgan Heritage being siblings, we hope that we're an example of families working together, doing positive things. It's a heritage for life.